admire him a lot for his clarity of thoughts while he is speaking. It's a pleasure listening to him always. Please welcome to DTM Chalen. I took the path less traveled and that has made all the difference. Hello Toastmasters, dear guest and especially my target speaker Toastmaster Shadia. I have been a Toastmaster since June of 2018 and this is the second time only in my life, the Toastmasters life that I have seen somebody attempting this project. So first of all kudos for taking the project which is very rarely selected. Coming on to the things that you did good. The first was the basically you were not disturbed or basically not nerved by the change of question that the interviewer asking. So there was one moment where interviewer stopped you and asked another question, but you were very good to bring back the interviewer on the first question and then you affirmed that I would answer the question. The second thing I liked about you is the use of hand gestures. So your hand gestures were up to point and basically were helping communicate what you wanted to communicate to the interviewer. Now coming to the improvement. Whenever I go for a cake, I always like the topping. But the best thing that I like about it is the cake itself. The thing that I want you to improve is about the content of the answer itself. <coughs> when, the speak, when the interviewer asked you that tell me more about your experience, you have to first tell that there are three or four experiences that I had over a period of time and then you can go and explain about each of the experience and then probably can add toppings on top of that. However, I saw that you were adding toppings and that was basically taking away the content from the answer itself. So just to sort of uh, recap, I only remember that you worked only for one company which is ADP, however you have 15 years of experience. So I think that you have worked for more companies and that should have come in the answer. The same was telling me about yourself when you were basically giving the answer about telling me you about yourself, you used a lot of uh, sentences like Hollywood and all those sort of things, but I could not recognize what Shazia is as the person. So I think the first thing that I would like, the only thing that I would like to work upon in this is make sure that the answer is suitable to the question, the content is there and then you can build on top of it. The next step I would want you to give is using the STAR method. So STAR is situation, task, action and result. Whenever anyone asks you about your achievements in an interview, always follow this method. I had this situation, this was the task in front of me, this is the action I took and this is the result which I achieved. This will clearly explain why it is your achievement and what was the context. So these are the only recommendation that I have for you. Overall very good on selecting a less and rare uh, project in the path. Second, very good on hand gestures as well as keeping your nerves together during the interview. Please work on the content of the answers and uh, basically the STAR method. Over to you, Jamila. Thank you, DTM Challenger. Uh, next, we have the evaluator for uh, Toastmaster, Sandana. And this person, he, is, he has the most energetic voice in our club. And yeah, he is none other than Toastmaster Abu. It's exactly good afternoon, everyone. So today, the speaker, what literally made me think after the speech is, all my life, I have always done things where my positives are, or where I think I have an advantage. <coughs> but today for a change, I had a speaker who chose something that DVM Shalinda has also chosen to say that she chose the road less taken. She chose her weakness. And when you become a person who can convert weakness into strength, you are here to create magic. So I had the opportunity to be the evaluator for Toastmaster Chandra. So first and foremost, she picked up something which is not her best, that is maths. The second thing is to ensure that she is able to tickle all of us, to make it humorous. Did she do it? Yes. Absolutely. I'm sure you also realize that there was icing on the cake when she spoke. She had a 
PPT or a presentation, which clearly shows that she has worked hard for it. She has burned the midnight oil. And this is the best part of the speech. There was a point wherein the person who was helping her with the presentation did not go to the next slide, but she knew what is about to come. Did you realize that point? Now that's the power of preparation. So that's a good job. So first thing that you did very well is preparation. The second thing that she did is, no sooner her speech started, she started with a question. And whenever you invite people for a question, your audience comes here. The third thing is, there have been four instances when you made the audience laugh. So wonderful job on it. Now I'm sure we are all here to progress and not become perfect. Now how can we make this speech like Pushpa 2? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so my first suggestion is, there was another point in your speech when you asked a question, what is the geometry box used for? And there were a lot of excited people who wanted to give an answer, but because of time lag, you did not allow them to speak. So if you ask a question, ensure that you allow people to speak. The second thing is, you had a lot of things, and at times it felt you are rushing through your speech. So if you can, take care of it. Last but not the least, eye contact is very important. And when you look at people into their eyes, they dare not look anywhere else. So the third point is eye contact. So to summarize, what went really well is your preparation, uh, your art of asking questions and humor. What could have been better is allow people to answer eye contact. Okay? That will be all. I wish you all the best for your future speeches. Evaluation. <laughs> Next, we have the evaluator for Toastmaster, Larika. She is a prodigy, public speaking prodigy of her club. She is none other than Toastmaster Anushka. <coughs> Thank you for the introduction. My speaker, Larika. I was impressed from the first second. She opened while engaging the audience. She had your attention right where she started. <coughs> Just closing your eyes and then opening them, I felt it was pointless until she delivered her next dialogue, which is why I understood why she took her pathway, the human speech. And when she talked about how she started off with the birthday song and then cut it slowly, I could imagine her face during her board exams, excited that it's her birthday, and the teacher was just asking her to concentrate on the exam there. It conveyed her emotion, and I felt as though it was very apt. And not just that, with that single sentence where she said, I remember the moment I was born. She had my attention. I was curious, and I was in awe. What was she talking about? I'm not sure if it's true or not. I'm still kind of confused. <laughs> but uh, I was into her speech. You put us through your eyes. My birthday falls into it. So I can, I don't have any experience that you had. In fact, it's pretty chill because the academic year just starts and I feel as though everyone enjoys my birthday, even my brother whose birthday it is not. But I understood that with your meticulous details, anyone can anyone can understand your perspective if you put hard to, put through it hard enough. It was relatable when you talked about your uncle, I mean neighbor uncle, which is like typical Indian uncle behavior. And uh, <laughs> I loved that your humor was not depreciative. I loved that you joked about how you were, but it was not in a way that you looked down about, uh, upon yourself. Beauty comes in the same size, punchline mark. <laughs> uh, you started off humanist and then got a little serious in between, but it was still light, not in a way that I felt, oh my god, I have to think about the sentimentally. And then you went off again to be humorous which is amazing. I've heard of dark humor, but we should talk about your light humor. You know your audience well, and your humor is, and you know that humor is of a subjective topic, but you still made everyone laugh, which is very compelling considering that the purpose of your speech is to be authentic. 
finding the balance between your passion being authentic while also <coughs> pleasing the other people is almost impossible. Congratulations, like kudos for you to doing that. And uh, your body language, your expressions were on point, and I think that's why everyone loved it. And I cannot think of another way where it would fit. I loved your speech. I can't wait to hear more from you. I generally have no improvements. For you. That's it. <laughs> Now we are done with the prepared speech evaluation section. Now we will have the tag team for the, uh, for the part. Okay. So 